Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get one of these cheap Chinese TFT modules to work with the Node MCU or the ESP8266. Um, so this particular one that I've got is, um, well you can see what it is there. It's from what I, as far as I know it's just a standard Node MCU. However some of them are different. So um, yeah, if you have a different one other than this, it might not be exactly the same because the pinouts could be different. But if you've got this one and it looks the same, chances are that this will work for you. So, so this is the equipment I'm using. This has got a little SD card thing at the back, but I won't be using that. So anyway, let's go on with it. So you're going to need one of these, one of these. You'll need a breadboard and some jumper wires. Let's get started. So to start with, I'll put the um, I'll put the Node MCU in this breadboard. This one's really stiff. It's quite a newish breadboard. It's really stiff. Okay, that's in. And let's put the um, the module in here as well. Um, I'll just zoom out a bit more. I'll put the module in. Um, you can see that there's some labelling for the pinout as well, but don't worry because um, if you've got the same as me, then I'm going to be quoting you this anyway. So I'll put that in here. Um, that looks about right. Okay, now this is the important bit. Um, this took me, well, in total, I'd say it's took me about two to three hours to research how to do this. I tried and tried and tried and I just couldn't do it until eventually I found out how to and um, the wiring is quite important and also the library is important this is how to wire it up or this is how I wire it up anyway so the first pin which is the reset pin make sure that's right yeah the reset pin I'm going to pull that to D0 of the node MCU the second pin which is DC is going to sorry not DC it's CS chip select that's going to D1 so chip select to D1 then DC which is the third pin I'm going to put to D2 now you've got to be careful with the node MC you can't just plug things in anywhere so um, yeah here we go so now the SPI things so D in which means data in that's going to go to Mosey or actually this is called H Mosey because it's hardware Mosey now with the node MCU you can actually use software Mosey or software SPI but I would very much discourage you not to do that use the hardware one so anyway so this pin D in goes to H Mosey which on this node MCU happens to be labeled D7 then the next one is the clock and this goes to H clock, hardware clock, which is D5. And then we need VCC, so this is 5 volts. So VCC to 5 volts, which um, is going to have to be V in. I'm hoping that V in is 5 volts. Well, it will be. So V in. I don't know if all node MCUs have that, but mine does so that needs to go to 5 volts should be V in and the backlight backlight is the next one and that needs 3.3 volts backlight 3.3 volts so I'll just put that into 3 volts then finally ground to ground so have we got a ground here in fact I'll just swap that and I'll put that in this 3.3 volts here. Then, um, finally, ground. So, ground to ground on the node MCU. And I'll just change that wire for a longer one. That's better. Right, so I'll just show you what we've got now. Move this around. So 
So we've got reset going to D0. We've got chip select going to D1. We've got DC going to D2. We've got D in, which is the first purple layer, going to H mosey, which on mine is D7. Then we've got a second purple layer, which is CLK, which is clock, and that's going to H clock, which is D5. Then we've got VCC going to 5 volts, which on mine is V in. Then we've got backlight, which is going to 3.3 volts over here. And then finally we've got ground, and that goes to ground. So I'll just show you this again. Sorry about the light, the light's not very good in here today for some reason. I think we need to invest in some better lighting. So you've got that thing wired up and now I'll show you the library and the sketches, okay?